Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. How is everybody today? It's Sunday. It is April 10th. It is currently about 3.30 <sighs> in the afternoon. I just had a wonderful like almost two hour nap so I am feeling very good. I woke up this morning and I filmed a video I did my makeup like crazy and I even did my hair today now it doesn't look as cute now because I just woke up so I was sleeping on it but yeah I did my hair today in space buns like what like am I okay I never ever 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 do my hair so I did my hair today and I feel weird, but it's actually like, it's not bad for like my first time doing anything like this. It's not bad. I kind of look like Mickey Mouse. So yeah. Hi, how is everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. I have been okay. Uh, you know, just the usual trucking along. I can't remember the last time I vlogged. M maybe it was like three, three weeks ago, a month ago, something like that. I worked this weekend Well, I worked yesterday and it was supposed to be an easy day. Like, it wasn't like hard or anything, but it being spring break week this last week, we've had a lot of dogs boarding and a lot of them going home this weekend. So yesterday we just had to do like spring break baths. So I had four, the other groomer had four, and one of them that the other groomer had, she was having some issues getting him in the bathtub. Like he was, it was like a hundred, hundred pounds, hundred and something pounds. I don't know, like a big white lab thing mix. I don't really know. And he just like would not get in the tub. Like he would, he was pulling away. He was jerking away. He was just being stubborn. And so I was like, oh, like I'll help you. And mind you, this dog, this dog weighs more than I do, right? I only weigh like 95 pounds and this dog was over 100 so he was very big and he was being stubborn on purpose. <laughs> I was like yeah let me help you and it just wasn't working and I think one of the, the last time we tried to get him in he completely turned on me and got very aggressive and came at me and <laughs> that was like absolutely terrifying. And I, I did get some injuries from that so what was supposed to be an easy day yesterday was not. He got my finger right here. I mean, this is fine. No, a dog still came at me and, and drew blood, okay? Like, that's bad regardless. And he got my knee right here, which I'll show you. It's looking a lot better than it did. It's like a day old now. Yeah, he got me pretty good on my legs. Sorry, my legs are like really hairy. I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> I haven't shaved in a while. But yeah, he got me pretty good on my leg too. And like some scratches and like all the bruising so yeah he he got aggressive um and no I did not give him a bath I was like nope he's done because <laughs> I mean if he was gonna do this like what else would, would he have done you know what I mean so yeah that was yesterday at work um can't wait to do it again all over this week that's kind of another thing is I feel like I've been kind of like struggling internally up here because I'm starting to feel like maybe dog grooming isn't for me anymore because I feel like lately I've been having more injuries at work and I've been having more instances of dogs biting me and I, I know like getting bit in dog grooming is very common but I feel like it's happening more often than it needs to be. I don't know I'm just I've just I'm just feeling kind of lost career wise and I don't really know what to do. And I'm just feeling really discouraged because I feel like every time I go into work, like something bad happens or I'm bleeding in some way. And it's just like, I just don't, and I'm just not like enjoying the dogs anymore because a lot of them are just like untrained, mean little shitheads. And I'm just, I'm kind of sick of it to be perfectly honest with you. I'm beginning, I'm beginning to wonder if like the cons are starting to outweigh the pros. And, you know, I, I shouldn't really, like, judge judge the industry that much because I do groom in a vet's office. So, you know, I do see a lot of naughty dogs that get turned away from other shops. But, like, you know, I shouldn't judge because I'm wondering, like, if I went to, like, a different shop that wasn't a vet clinic, like, you know, I feel like I would be able to have more control about turning 
down clients instead of having having to do everybody no matter what you know what I mean well I don't know I don't know that's just me kind of thinking out loud I've just haven't really been enjoying the job as much anymore because I'm just so sick of coming home with bruises and cuts and bites and I don't know why people choose this career I do have a vacation coming up at the end of May so maybe I can just use that week to like completely unplug and recharge from that part of my life and just really think about what I want to do and if this is really worth it to me. I'm also considering cutting down going from like four days a week to two days a week because I'm just like I'm just tired man. It's a lot. Yeah. I want to be like Jackal. I want to have Jackal's life. Right honey? No. Yeah, That's just me blabbering and thinking out loud. So my legs pretty sore. Like, if I fully extend it, it really hurts. Anyway, that's what's going on in my employed life. Something else that's kind of exciting, so I think the last time I vlogged, I told you guys that I had a new car, so I, I got a new car, and I also still had my Cavalier, my old car, that I've had for like four and a half years. So, it was um, March, March 22nd. I was getting ready to take pictures of her, to post them on Facebook, to put her up for sale. Like, I was literally outside wiping her down, giving her one last clean before I was taking pictures. And then I went back inside, and someone knocked on my door. And I was like, okay, like, who the fuck? Nobody knocks on my door, okay? I don't, I don't allow company. So my boyfriend answered it, and it was actually one of my neighbors. And my neighbor was like, hey, like, just wondering if you guys are selling that Cavalier out there. And he was like, yeah, we are. And I kind of had a feeling because when they first moved here, because they moved here after I was already here, they had a Cavalier already, like a white two-door one, and it got totaled in an accident, and they really liked that car. So I always kind of wondered in the back of my mind if they were going to ask me about mine because they're obviously like Cavalier lovers, you know what I mean? And he's like, yeah, we're, we're really interested in it. And we basically ran it down with them, like everything that's wrong with it, things that probably need to get fixed, what it has, what it doesn't have, what it can do, what it, what it can't do, all of her weird little ticks, like ran it down the whole thing and they were really interested. So I was like, holy shit, am I about to sell my old car to my neighbors? You're fucking a right I did. So I did sell my old car, but um, she didn't go very far because I'm literally looking at her right now. Um, I can see her right out my front window. So there's my car right there. Um, I'm covering up their license plate. Oh, she's in a different spot and that's her new home. There she is, there's Paulina. And it's so bizarre because it's, it's like, I'm looking at my car, but that's not my car anymore. She's like just parked out there. It's, it's bizarre. It's the weirdest thing. So yes, I got a new car. I sold my old car. So now I don't have two cars anymore. That's pretty exciting. And I am like really glad I still get to see her every day, even though it's weird. It's just nice to be able to know that she's like, she's right there and she's okay. So yeah, I feel really bad for them because I told them like one of her weird tics about her is that Paulina the Cavalier is whenever you're whenever it's raining out really really heavy rains you drive her in the rain She has her ABS track off and service light Come on on the dash with like the check engine light and everything and it only happens when it's wet out Only happens when it's wet out the second it dries out and stops raining for about 30 minutes They turn off and they don't come on again until it's it's raining and I don't know if it's like a sensor issue or something. I don't really know. Um, so I told them that. I said, hey, like just a warning, like when it's raining out, all these lights are gonna come on. So, you know, I'd get that checked out and just be aware of it. And I feel so bad because ever since they bought that car from me, we've had like three solid weeks of just downpour torrential rain. So I'm like, great, like they probably think this car is just fucked because I'm sure they haven't gotten to drive her yet without those lights on, but yeah. Anyway, I work tomorrow and then Tuesday, I have an inspection here and Jackal's vet appointment. So I have to make sure this place is in like tip top shape. Jackal's vet appointment, it's basically just like a checkup. It's nothing, like nothing's wrong. Uh, he just has to get his senior wellness exam, his lepto and his rabies shot, so.
I would totally show you guys what the fuck is going on right now, but I'm not going to film a child, but if you watched my March 2022 horror pack unboxing and how my neighbor's kids on that side were banging on the shared wall while I was trying to film, like they were kicking it and like literally being annoying on purpose. Well, now they're outside by the dumpster and they're playing with concrete blocks. And there's cars parked nearby. And I'm literally like watching them like move them around. I hate kids. I literally hate kids. Like I can't. Don't you have like a bike or something that you can ride around? Why, why a cr concrete block? They're great birth control. Like every time I see them, I'm literally like <laughs> stuff I gotta do right now I'm probably going to start some dishes and then I need to mop my kitchen floors because they need to be cleaned really bad um, oh I also organized my last closet in this house and I was gonna film it that was my original plan I was literally gonna film me doing that closet but since I just didn't have a very good day at work yesterday I just kind of wanted to zone out with my podcast and just organize something and that's what I did so I'll go ahead and show you why not? We're not doing nothing else. So here's the full closet. I wish I took like a before, but there was like stuff piled up to the ceiling there. Um, I just had junk and trash everywhere. And here's what it looks like now. So we're all nice and cleaned up now. We just have my little Swiffer, lots of paper towels, some extra Sunny D, Gatorade, my grooming dryer, my vacuum. Um, I have my grooming table right here, my smock for work, um, dog stuff, dog treats, this little box which contains some COVID tests, at home COVID tests, uh, a couple games, like tape and shit, my Aldi bag, some Halloween stuff, um, it's kind of hard to see because it's dark, but we have some gardening stuff right here for when that time rolls around. Tool bag, yeah, just, just, this is like my random closet, almost like a pantry, but not really, because it's in a bathroom, uh, but I just use this for, like, just extra storage and dog stuff and whatnot, so, yeah, I think it actually looks a lot better, I think I got rid of three garbage bags worth of stuff, and, like, now that I'm saying all of this out loud, I really wish I would have filmed it, because that probably would have been entertaining, seeing me haul so much trash out of here, but... Yeah, now it's all cleaned up and organized and whatnot, so now I just need to mop. I have my mop out, and I have bleach in here already, so I just need to fill it up with hot water and basically just do the whole floor, even though it looks really clean in this light, but it needs to be done, trust me. It hasn't been done in a while. So I'm just hanging out. I can't believe it's already almost four. Like, what the, I just woke up this morning, and now it's... <laughs> You guys get the point. Okay, I'm just stalling at this point now. Oh, Jesus. Let's mop these floors, shall we?
just finished taking a shower. I started some laundry. I cleaned the bathroom and did a little bit of vacuuming up there. And yeah, now I'm just kind of chilling the rest of the night. I had some pizza for dinner again. I literally went and got like two boxes of pizza and that's all I've been eating. So um, my stomach's a little upset. I'm doing as much cleaning as I can right now because tomorrow my um, apartment, townhouse, whatever you want to call it, complex is having an inspection, which usually would annoy the shit out of me, but I'm actually not too upset about it, and I'm kind of glad that the, the people, the bosses, are going to be coming through and checking things out because lately, the last like couple weeks, I've heard of like five different apartment fires and specifically because like smoke alarms aren't working properly or there's like electrical issues. So I'm like actually okay with someone coming in and like checking everything they need to check to make sure it's in working order because that's like one of my biggest fears of living in an apartment is fires. Um, I literally have nightmares about it quite often actually. So uh, I'm not too mad about it. So I'm just trying to get things like cleaned up so it's not like gross and you know, I'm, I'm a very clean person anyway so I just, I don't know, I'm just cleaning, but today was a pretty good day at work. I know yesterday I was kind of in a funk after what happened on Saturday, and I was like, eh, I don't know if dog grooming is for me anymore, blah, blah, blah. And today, today was a really good day. It was a fairly easy day. I had three corgis and a doodle and a little Maltese mix, which you guys just saw all little tiny clips throughout my day. I was supposed to have another doodle, but they no call no showed. So I only had five, supposed to have six, but only had five. So it was a really good day. All the dogs were very sweet, very nice. Uh, it, was a, it was a good day. And it's always like days like this where I'm like, actually, you know what? I could do this. But, and I'm sure I'll have many bad days ahead and I'm gonna hate my job some days, but other days, especially days like today, it's good. All is well with the world. So, and I was looking back at like the vlog clips that I've filmed so far and past vlogs that I've uploaded. And I noticed that like my vlogs are insanely repetitive. Like I'll open a vlog with updates and talk for like 15 minutes and then I'll clean something and then I'll show work footage and then it'll be more talking about how I'm cleaning. It's just like, it's very repetitive and I just want like do you guys is this what you enjoy because I feel like I don't even know why I'm vlogging again when it's literally like the same shit over and over again so let me know I don't know I just feel like they're getting a little redundant at this point because I just I don't do much I go to work and I come home and I do YouTube stuff like <laughs> that's my life uh, tomorrow during the inspection I may or may not be here, I don't know. Jackal has a vet appointment at 10.30, just says check up. I think I already told you guys that. And I forgot to tell you guys that Avril had her vet appointment last Wednesday. So if you remember like maybe five, six months ago, I talked to you guys about how Avril had high kidney levels in her blood work and the vet was kind of concerned and wanted to keep an eye on it because she could go into kidney failure and have kidney disease and all that stuff and I started her on that food. Well, I went and took her last Wednesday to get her blood work rechecked like they asked me to and they came back with the results that the kidney levels were the same if not better than they were last time so the food that she's on is doing something and it's working. Now, my vet is not concerned at this point, but she does want me to keep checking her blood work every three to six months. That way, if something does change, we'll be able to catch it right away and do something about it. So they do want me to keep her on that prescription kidney food, which is fine by me. She absolutely loves it. Like she goes ape shit for it. So I'm gonna keep her on that food and then every six months, just like with Jackal, I'll have her blood work checked to make sure everything is a-okay. But other than that, um, it's looking okay. They didn't tell me the exact number because I think last time her SDMA was at 15 and it's supposed to be 14 or below. Um, they didn't tell me the exact numbers, but they said the same, if not better. So I'm going to take that as a good thing. I mean, I work there, so I could easily just pull up her blood work thing and look at it myself. So I, if I have time, I'll do that. But So that's the update on Avril. Uh, the rest of the week is pretty busy. Like Wednesday, I have a full day. 
Uh, I think I have five dogs, two standard poodles who get full on like clean feet, clean face, top knot, uh, two English Springer Spaniels and a Shih Tzu. Thursday is going to be a short day dog wise, but a long day because I'm actually turning I have a client who has a doodle who gets a lot of creative grooms. I've posted this dog on my dog grooming Instagram quite a few times. This time we are doing something that I have never even dreamed of trying or something I have never attempted before. But she sent me a picture and she's like, I want to do this with my dog next time. And I'm going to be transforming her doodle into a giraffe. A giraffe like let me just fuck I show you like the reference pictures so I already ordered all of the stuff so this is what I'm going to be doing to her doodle um, the last time she was in I shaved off all of her previous color and I shaped her feet kind of like that so this Thursday I'm going to be taking a doodle and turning it into a giraffe and that is going to take a very long time because this specific color for the draft spots has to sit for 40 minutes and then the black that I got has to be mixed a certain way and sit for a certain amount of time or something so it's gonna be a very long process I'm excited about it but I'm also very nervous because I've never done anything like that before I'll probably vlog a little bit like the before the process and after so you guys will see it in this vlog I'm just like I'm nervous about it because I've never attempted anything like that before in my life and I just want it to turn out good. We already talked about it and I, she's like, if you mess up or it doesn't turn out good, we'll just shave it off. It's not a big deal. So she's very understanding. She knows I've never done anything like this before. But yeah, we are going to be doing that on Thursday. And then Friday, I think I have like six dogs or something. And then I have the weekend off. So I'm just chilling. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to get here. He has been at his house for the last few days working on stuff and he also had to go get his second MRI this morning out in that area so I'm just waiting for him to get here now and we'll probably chill the rest of the night. I got laundry going, bathroom is clean, dogs are fed, kitchen is clean, dishes are put away. So we're, we're doing great. It's a really good Monday. I usually have pretty good productive Mondays. And I even took a nap when I got home from work because work went so well today. I got home like at 2.30 today, which is awesome. So I was able to nap and get stuff done. It was payday today too. So like, it's just, it's a great Monday. I hope you guys are having a great Monday or a great day whenever you're watching this. And I'm just going to wait for my boyfriend to get here and start editing. So I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. guys so it is many many days later I well not that many but it I feel like it's been a while since I've talked to you guys so hello hi it is currently nine o'clock in the morning it is Tuesday April 19th right now I am up awake and Adam I'm getting ready to leave here in like about a half hour I'm just gonna head out for the day I'm probably gonna stop at my mom's take my dogs with me just kind of have a nice you know chill day I might take them for a walk in the park or something and yeah so it's been a few days so I think the last clip you guys saw was um, when I did that giraffe groom on that doodle and the owner absolutely loved it and it kind of like blew up a little bit in like doodle Facebook groups and in my grooming groups so it it was it was a huge success like I got a lot of you know praise recognition for doing that and 
yeah, it was it was a really cool weekend seeing all these different groomers like you know, being nice and saying, like, you know, how cute it looked and whatnot. So after that, basically, I worked Friday, and then the weekend, I headed to my boyfriend's house because he is working on stuff to get it on the market, get it sold. It's like stuff's getting done, but the to-do list to get it ready to sell is still, like, this long. So it's going to take quite a while before... Um, it's actually on the market because there's just a lot of stuff that the realtor recommended that he do so he could get more money for it, which me, like, and I totally understand that, like, equity and whatnot, but, like, me, I would just sell it as is because it just, it's just too much work. I mean, he likes doing that kind of stuff, which is great for him, but, you know, if it were me, if it were my house, it'd be like, fuck that, sell it as is, get me out of here. But it's his house, his choice, so I went out there this weekend, you know, just like burned some stuff, he painted the garage, you know, just stuff like that. And then I worked yesterday, Monday, which turned out to be a really, really chill day. And then here we are, back up to today, so I caught you guys up. I'm sorry I didn't vlog anything, I just wasn't really feeling it. It is that week, you know, for women, that week, this week, so Sunday I was like, insanely depressed for some reason like and I couldn't figure out what the hell was wrong with me but I literally just sat there and just didn't want to do anything and then I was like oh yeah it's period week so that explains why I'm so depressed but I feel fine now I had a little bit of back pain last night like the menstrual back pain uh, but I'm feeling good now I'm just kind of hanging out getting ready to leave it's also like kind of a cool excuse because I get to go like you know drive my car I'm really getting used to and really attached to my car now uh, at first I was a little like eh about it and I wasn't sure if I really liked it but I'm getting to that point now where like any excuse I get where I can like drive it um is good so yeah really getting used to my car oh I forgot to tell you guys so I showed I showed you guys Paulina my old car how my neighbors bought her and so I'm I'm looking at her right now you know because she still she lives only like a few doors down now so I still see her every day well the other day they took her out to go somewhere and when they came back her exhaust was hanging on the ground I'll, I'll try to show you guys but that's her muffler just hanging on the ground. Oh my god, dude. I don't know what happened. I, I guess like a bracket or something might have rusted off and broke or they hit a pothole and it like jimmied something loose. But yeah, so they can't drive her right now because her exhaust is literally on the ground. I know you guys probably like don't care and don't want to hear about Paulina anymore, which I totally get, but I just like to like keep up to date on her because like I had that car for four and a half years and I loved that car. So when I see like things like that happen, I'm like, no, no, not Paulina. Oh, I got an Amazon package yesterday and it's really like nothing exciting. It's actually kind of stupid, but I figured I would share it anyway because I, I always try to do a haul in my vlogs. These are my nails. They're very beat up from work. I don't go to a salon. I never, I mean, I have gone to a salon before and I used to go a little bit more regularly, but I just don't like going to a salon. I don't like going to hair salons, nail salons. I don't, I'm just not that, it's just not my thing. I don't find it enjoyable. I find it stressful. Like, I'd rather be in the comfort of my own home in my jammies and do that kind of stuff. So I always do my own nails and I was running low on my glue on nails and I needed some new ones. So that's what I got off Amazon. I got a little nail order. So I thought I would show you. So the first thing is I just got a new Loctite super glue. This is what I use to keep my nails on. They literally last for two weeks or more when I use this. And yes, I know using super glue on your nails is not a good idea. My body, my choice, right? So I got some more super glue and then I got two packs. These are probably some of my favorite nails. These are the Kiss Salon Acrylic French, the medium square nails. These I love. They're almost like the duck nails, kind of, from like 2010 Jersey Shore era, but these are some of my favorites, so I've got a pack of two of these. I had these once before, and I was a huge fan of them. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet with my nails. I do know I need to, like, touch up my roots because they're, they're kind of coming in nice and blonde. So I do want to touch up my roots before I do my nails because I don't want to get hair dye on them. 
And then I also found this huge pack of nails and it came with one, two, three, four different packs. And they're really, really long nails, but they're all in different colors. So the first one is like just some matte black tips, which I think are really cute. And I can just, you know, put them on, cut them down, and I'm good to go. Because I just don't have the time anymore to sit here and paint my nails all day. I just don't have that kind of time anymore. So this is going to be a lot quicker. So I got some matte black tips. I also got, see which ones are these? These ones are like just some nude tips, which I really, really like these. This is like a really good nude color. I got some matte white tips. So if I wanna have like a white nail moment, I thought these were really cool. I don't think I've ever done all white before. I mean, maybe I have once, but yeah, I've never done like tips like this. So I got those and then these really pretty kind of like, they look very similar to the nude color, but there we go. Next to each other, you can see these are a little bit more on the pink side. So yeah, I got me some nail tips. So I'm really excited to come home later, dye my hair, cause these blonde roots are making me look like I'm going bald. I take a nice warm shower, come downstairs, put a movie in and do my nails. That is like, that is my ideal self-care day. I just, uh, I love doing that kind of stuff and I just love zoning out and doing my own nails at home. A lot of people ask me like how I do my nails or where I get my nails done. Um, I do them myself and I literally just glue them on. I, I, I do work on my nails, like I'll push the cuticles back, I'll file the nails, I'll, you know, get rid of any hang nails, and then I rough up the surface, glue them on, and I'm good to go for two weeks. So, yeah, that's my little nail haul. I get all of these from Amazon. Oh, it's only 9.10, Jesus. I even made coffee at home, because usually if I'm, like, going out somewhere, I'll stop at Big B and get coffee, but I didn't feel like it. So, oh my gosh, yesterday, I had a sedated groom. Um, if you don't know what a sedated groom is, basically it's a dog that is too dangerous to groom awake. So for the safety of the dog and the safety of me and the medical staff, we, we sedate them. Um, I do work in a vet's office. It's not like a regular, we're not sedating them ourselves. The, the vet team does that. They just go to sleep and they stay asleep for about 30 minutes and we do what we need to do. So yesterday I had a sedated groom and this was a dog that hasn't been in in almost a year. And he came in completely pelted from nose to tail. So it was a complete sedated shave down. Well, with sedated, with sedated grooms, you only have a minimum amount of time before they start to wake up. And once they start to wake up, like you basically have to wrap it up at that point. So this guy, <laughs> he was starting to wake up towards the end of it and I was finishing up his feet and he doesn't like his feet touched. So he was like coming at me, kind of snapping at me. I mean, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have done any like real damage because he was so sleepy, but I, for safety reasons, I did put like a little muzzle on him and the muzzle that I chose, oh my God, this picture is so funny. Do you guys see that? So this is the dog that I had to shave down literally from nose to tail, no more hair. And I gave him a little pig muzzle. Isn't that so cute? That was him falling asleep again, as you can see, but oh my God, isn't that like the funniest thing ever. I freaking love this muzzle so much. That was that was my day yesterday. Oh, that sun. Oh my God, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to go before I give myself a fucking migraine. I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so today is now Thursday. It is April 21st. It is the day after 420. I hope you all had a very high 420. <laughs> I didn't. I worked all day and I came home and went to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, it is April 21st today. Um, it is about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I just finished filming a couple videos. I am now getting ready. I just finished cleaning up my mess here. And now I'm getting ready to do some computer work. I gotta do some bills and stuff like that. And then I'm also getting ready to watch the seventh day of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. I have been all over that shit lately. I, I did like a get ready with me this morning where I like filmed myself doing my makeup and talking about the case, talking about the trial and just like my own personal opinions on it. I also filmed a tutorial on my space buns. So I'm basically just working today, getting stuff done. I have to start a load of laundry as well. So, and then I think I'm gonna film one more video today, but I just wanted to 
to jump back on here and continue this vlog. This vlog is literally so all over the place, like scattered through so many different days with so many random clips. I just can't seem to like keep on top of my shit lately and I don't know why that is. Uh, the last clip I talked to you guys about was my hair and my nails. I did end up touching up my roots. You can't really see, but my hair is all nice and dyed, no more blonde roots. And I also did my nails, so I went with the nude color tips and I just put those on, filed them down. So my nails are done, my hair is dyed, we're filming today, we're paying bills today. We're having a very productive adult day today. So I had my little self-care night, which was really nice. I needed that just to sit down have my hair developing while I'm doing my nails. I, I feel so much better. I have to like fill out an application because Jackal's license is about to expire. So I have to like fill everything out and send in money to get him his new license because depending on where you live, you have to have your dog licensed in the county that you live in. So if anything were to happen, if they were to go missing or end up in a pound or whatever, um, the dog has to be licensed in the county for them to be legal. So I have to do all of that, catch up on some bills and shit. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna turn on the uh, Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial because I'm about two hours behind. I usually like to watch it uh, right away, but I was filming, so I have like two hours to catch up on. I'm pretty sure they're on lunch right now, so I have to get I have to get caught up. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Just wanted to fill, fill you guys in. Walking the little space bunnies today. I have Jackal hanging out with me. He's been my little buddy today, just hanging out there while I film. He's he's a great producer. Sir, well done, good job. And Avril is downstairs looking out the window because I put up my bird feeder yesterday. Now Avril is just obsessed with watching the birds eat. So she's downstairs bird watching, Jackal's up here helping me film. And then I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I put all of my Jeffree Star mirrors up on my wall. I decided to hang them up because I was running out of places to put them. So I decided to just hang them on my wall here. I think it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. That's enough of me blabbering. I'm gonna get to work and I'll talk to you guys very soon in the next clip. I just wanted to like show off my makeup today because I love the smoky eye look with the space buns. Like she's looking cute. I'll talk to you guys in the next clip, bye. Hey guys, so it is currently Sunday. It is April 24th today. It's about 7.12 at night and I am currently editing this vlog that you are watching right now and I think we're almost at about 50, 50-ish minutes so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here so I can get it done and uploaded. I'm, I don't know, I feel kind of bad about this one because I feel like this wasn't one of my, this wasn't one of my better vlogs. I just, I feel like I kind of slacked on this one a little bit, so I'm not feeling very confident about it. I just feel like I was kind of meh through the whole thing, you know? But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and I, well, I promise to make the next one a better vlog. I don't know, I just feel like this one was just really kind of jambled and too far apart in days, and it doesn't, like, flow well but I hope you guys enjoyed this regardless as always if you did make sure to go down and give this video a huge thumbs up I'm going to finish this get it done get to sleep and tomorrow is Monday new week I work as usual <laughs> and I'm gonna finish the Donnie the Donnie the Johnny Depp trial because that resumes tomorrow at 10 a.m. so I'm very anxious to watch that so make sure you go down and subscribe if you're new here hit that red subscribe button I upload every three to four days here but as the rest of you I love you guys so much again my apologies if this vlog was not very good I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video